Uh, you've got to put a couple of days to reflect on Saturday's point and approve. How's the squad feeling about the result? Yeah, not bad. Um, listen, crew is a tough place to go. Um, strong team. Uh, they've started really well. Um, they have an identity in how they want to play football. And I think um, anybody would have gone there would have taken a point. But um, the amount of chances we had in the first half, I think we're kind of disappointed that it wasn't more than one at a half time. Um, but listen, all, all we can do is, is, is take the point, move on from that, and, and we're still in a, in a decent position in the league. So, um, big game next week against Forest Green. So, we just have to take the positives from Saturday and, and move forward. It must be great to be creating some chances as well as a team. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I think we'd be more concerned if we weren't if we weren't creating loads of chances and and, and when we weren't scoring them. I think the, the next step for us is to put them in the back of the net. I think we're due. I think we're due three or four goals in a game with the amount of chances we're creating. So, um, as a defender, it's it's nice to see us uh, creating loads of chances and being defensively sound at the back. But I think um, we need we need to take them uh, be a bit more clinical. But at the same time, I think we we, so we can get more clean sheets as defenders and as a team. Um, it's back to the Leasing.com trophy tomorrow night and another trip to Rodney Parade um, to face Newport. I guess the team are looking to continue their good start in that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Listen, um, the the leasing um, dot, dot com trophy um, is decent. Um, there's a couple of rules and, and a few players have to play or whatever, but it's good for younger boys coming up. Uh, we've I think we'll have a few younger boys involved or playing and and players that haven't really been playing in and around the squad for for game time. So and we we play um, decent clubs. Obviously, we're going back to Newport, which is is an easy place to go to, but. Um, It'd be more like a League Two game than playing against an academy, so I think it's 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 going to be beneficial for the younger boys coming through. And with with this competition, does it make it hard to prepare for games because you're not really you don't really know what you're going to come up against? Yeah, ex in that expect, yeah, I think um, I think with Newport, I think we, we kind of you kind of re know what 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 to expect, but I think when you play like West Ham or or, or whoever, it's it's a bit different because you've never really faced them before. Um, and they're obviously an academy style, which obviously play out from the back and, and stuff like that. So I think with, with Newport and with Cheltenham, we kind of expect how, how they're going to approach the game and we kind of get a bit of an idea what, what they're going to do. Um, as a club where you've played such a vital role, I guess the competition's great to give those academy players some well needed minutes. Of course, yeah. Listen, I've been here, this is my fourth season now and I don't know how many academy lads have been involved in, in the uh, Leeson.com trophy and stuff and even in the first team now. So for, as a club for us, it, it is it is very, very beneficial for young young players. Like we had Ethan Ampadu, I think he probably played every game in, 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 in that back then was the checker trade. And even like Ben Ben Seymour's done really well and Joel, Joel Randall's done really well and Josh Key and stuff. So uh, for us as a club, I think it's, it's vital f to try and um, push on. Um, how great has it been to see the likes of Jack Sparks and Ben Seymour be part of the first team picture this season? Yeah, it's been decent. Uh, Sparks is a bit of a handful at times, but now it's been uh, it's been good. Listen, the two boys have, have gone out on loan and they've, they've done really well. I think Ben scored 20 plus goals last year at uh, Dorchester and Sparks, he played uh, at Salisbury and stuff and they've done really well. So uh, we always knew that the two boys were good players. It was just when and, and when they were going to get their chance and credit to Matty and, and the staff, they've given given Sparksy pretty much every game this season and Ben's made his full debut and, and came on a couple of times and, and, and been decent. So that that's what this club's about, uh, giving young players a chance and it's up to the young players to, to produce. And how are those guys settling in the dressing room? Obviously, I guess it's, it's different for them because they've been in and around it a bit worse. You know, the new players might find it a bit more intimidating. No, they've been they've been good. Um, I think. Listen, we're we're a decent bunch of bunch of lads. I think if even if you're a young lad or a new player, we're always going to welcome you with open arms and we'll have a bit of banter and we'll we'll have you off a little bit. But it's only it's only a bit of banter and stuff. But listen, the two boys have been excellent. They've integrated to the first team. Um, very easy and and fair play to them because so, sometimes first team environments aren't aren't easy. But like I said here, it's 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 gentle.